We need more cowbell. Okay. Uh, sorry about the first attempt at this video. I was having some technical difficulties doing an upload for YouTube last week when I put this on there and it translated to a 16 second video. <laughs> so sorry about that guys, but I do want to talk a little bit about the difference between a Allison transmission and a automated transmission, okay? So at the end of this video, you're gonna see a link and this is to a video I did when I very first started where I did a, um, I did an actual walkthrough on a 12 speed Packard transmission. So ultimately the difference is um, and a fully automatic transmission has a torque converter. A fully automated transmission has a clutch, just the same as a truck that you shift and operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, but I'll, I'll talk about some of the differences here on this truck. And uh, this is a leftover. Um, we only have two of these guys left. They're a 222 wheelbase. This is a 567 with a set back front axle. You can tell they're a setback front axle when you see the bumper, how it kind of tucks up underneath. If it had a set forward axle, it would not do that. But this one has the heavy duty penalty on the front. And they, um, they run heavier structures on the front end of the truck. Uh, to tie all that together so that uh, when you're towing it with a heavy piece of equipment or something, if you get stuck, um, you're not gonna be ripping messing up the frame or been in the frame so this one is a 500 Cummins with 1850 torque has a 14.6 front and 40 rears disc brakes heated fuel filter this one is the pack R version jump posts right up here underneath the hood I like to try to put the jump post on my trucks when I spec them out to the back where the on the back side of the pogo stick there there's a space on the other side where you can see it that way if you have to jump equipment it's a little bit easier four batteries and battery disconnect on this one <clears throat> these ones have the matte non-polished tanks We did high mount air tanks on this, which is nice because it cleans up the frame rail area. That way if you want to add toolboxes, more steps, or anything like that. Dual exhaust. And a lot of people ask me about what is a 567 with three back windows look like. Well, here you go. That's three back window right there. We got fog lights up top, load lights down low. And then here we have additional wiring harnesses. Uh, strobe lights, load lights, and then we have additional turn signals. So these are all tied into the dash so that you don't have to get under the dash to add any wiring. We do try to add a lot of that stuff for you so that it makes you more capable of being able to easily wire things up. So drum brakes on the rear with this one. Some people say that drums are a little better in the in the in the rear for uh, you know like heavy dirt applications farming so on and so forth Alcoa round holes these are 24 tall rubber with uh, Bridgestone open shoulders full lockers So uh, kind of going back to the transmission thing, uh, go to the Allison website. They have a series of short videos that talk about some of the advantages. There's a little more upfront cost with an Allison transmission. And they'll tell you that, you know, if you don't ever have to replace the clutch, it's worth it. Um, if you're if you're in soft sand or gravel on an often frequent basis, an Allison tra transmission really works well. Um, you don't get that axle hop that you get uh, with a 
another transmission. Now, if you force the truck in a certain manner, yes, you can make it do an axle hop. But again, watch the videos and they'll show you um, what the difference is. So on a fully automatic transmission, you're always going to have power between your shifts. Much, much like the transmission in your pickup. <clears throat> Jake brake is up on the column here with this truck. 355 rears. I forgot to mention that when we are around the back. Here's your Johnson bar now. It's right there. Some are self-returning and some are not self-returning. So if you have to lock up your trailer brakes and you need to leave them there for a minute or two, it is possible. Here's all the extra lights and switches that I showed you on the underside of the cab on the back. And then you got more spares over here. Traction control. This one has dual sending units. These here, they're just blanks. Then you have your full locking mechanisms. So you have your inner axle lock and then you have your full lock. So when you're climbing a hill with an Allison transmission versus the um, automated transmissions, you're never going to have a break in power. And they'll, they'll demonstrate that on there. But um, when we went out to the Allison plant last year, um, they'd put us in a fully loaded uh, dump truck loaded up to like 65,000 pounds and they had us go up a real steep grade and then stop and then be able to manage from that stop and move it along. So, you know, with the Allison, they got six speeds with the automated transmissions. You can get, um, 10, 12, 13, 18 speeds. And so again, watch the link that I put together on, uh, at the end of this video and if you have any questions, give me a call, 970-518-5520. If you like these videos, click on the button in the bottom right-hand corner to subscribe. And I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts about the differences and what your field experiences are. What do you like better? Do you like manual, automatic, or automated transmissions, guys? Look forward to hearing from you. Talk soon.